hi everyone welcome back to sahab academy today in this 11th video of depreciation chapter we are going to understand this production units method and also solve a problem on it okay it's really simple and straightforward so far what we have done so far we have covered slm method wdv method sum of years digits method and in just previous video we saw machine hour method right now in this video we have to cover this production units method and see this method is really simple the main thing you have to understand that in this method the useful life of the machinery of the asset will be in form of units okay how many units the machine can produce that's how you know the useful life will be measured over here in form of units in form of numbers okay not in form of years hours and all the quantity the machine will produce is that clear right so the entire calculation will be dependent upon that how many units it can produce here here the accounting treatment and everything will be same as the previous method the accounting treatment are not different it's same only it's just that the way of calculation is bit different okay so see how it will be calculated it's really simple you will calculate the depreciation by taking the depreciable amount okay depreciable amount divide that by useful life in units what is depreciable amount it is the maximum depreciation you can charge isn't it cost minus residual value that is the depreciable amount what is the maximum depreciation you can charge on an asset in its entire life right that's depreciable amount so you have to take the depreciable amount divide that by useful life in units the formula is same like straight line method only here it's just that the units are taken into consideration okay divide by useful life in units right so how many number of units it can produce in its entire life that's what you have to take in the denominator so what will you get if you just divide these two you will get the depreciation per unit you will get the depreciation per unit produced by that machine depreciation per unit that machine produces fine and then what do you have to do you have to multiply that with the actual units produced in that current year let's take an example let's simple example in calculator and understand let's say for example you have a machine of let's just say uh, 8 lakhs okay machine cost is 8 lakh and then let's say uh, you know 2 lakh is a scrap value so minus 2 lakh okay cost minus scrap value the residual value so that's 6 lakh 6 lakh is the depreciable amount so you have to take this depreciable amount divided by the useful life in units let's say for example 30000 units that machine can produce 30000 units in its entire life so divide by 30000 okay that's the useful life so you will get 20 what is this 20 this is a depreciation depreciation per unit the machine produces depreciation per unit multiply that with the units produced in this current year let's say for example in this current year they have produced in 2022 uh you know 5000 units let's say 10000 units so into 10000 so that's equal to how much 2 lakh so 2 lakh would be what depreciation you have to charge in the current year okay do you understand what happened over here you took the depreciable amount divide that by useful life in unit, units you got the depreciation per unit multiply that with the actual units produced you will get the depreciation in that particular time period in that particular accounting period okay that's how you have to go about it right so now let's just you know see this problem and you will understand how simple it is you have already understood but let's just see practically how it will be done in the questions now see here we have the question on production units method it's really simple and straightforward this question is from the ics study material illustration 5 and from our series this is our 12th problem okay all right so let's just read the question and understand what is being said over here a machine is purchased for 20 lakhs okay that's the cost of the machine its estimated useful life is 10 years okay useful life in years is also given with a residual value of 2 lakhs okay that's the scrap value the residual value so we can easily calculate the depreciable amount isn't it how do we calculate depreciable amount cost minus residual value 20 minus 2 that's 18 18 lakhs would be the depreciable amount clear easy and then they are saying the machine is expected to produce 1.5 lakh units 1 lakh 50000 units during its lifetime so you see they have given you the 
useful life of the machine in form of units okay and that's what we need that's our denominator right yeah expected distribution pattern of production is as follows so here they have told you how they will be uh, making the production in the first three years first second third right in the first three years they will be producing 20,000 units per year first year 20,000 second year 20,000 and third year 20,000 clear and then they're saying fourth fifth six seven okay the next uh, four years they will be producing 15,000 units per year in the fourth year 15,000 fifth year 15,000 sixth year 15,000 and seventh year 15,000 clear simple and then the remaining 8, 9, 10, the last 3 years, they will be producing 10,000 units per year. 8th year 10,000, ninth year 10,000 and 10th year 10,000. Clear? Easy. So now what are we required to do? We are required to determine, calculate the value of depreciation for each year using production units method. So the question is specifically asking you to use which method? Production units method. It's really simple and straightforward. See here, we know we just calculated depreciable amount is 18 lakhs, 20 minus 2, and then useful life in units is 1 lakh 50,000. Right. So let's begin. So, how will we calculate? It's really simple. See here, we'll have years column and annual depreciation column. Yes. So, 1, 2, 3, we can calculate only once, isn't it? Because it's same now. The production is same in first three years so depreciation will also be same in first three years it's like that you all know we you have seen that uh, you know this sort of thing in the uh, machine hour method problem also isn't it yes so how do we calculate it's really simple see first you will take the depreciable amount that's 18 lakhs divide that by useful life in units useful life in units is how much one lakh fifty thousand so 12 rupees 12 rupees is a depreciation per unit produced by that machine okay so that's the depreciation per unit you have to multiply that with what actual units produced so how many number of units have been produced in the first year 20,000 units right so into 20,000 12 into 20,000 that's equal to 240,000 this is the depreciation of the first year and then in second and third also the same depreciation will be there first year 240000 depreciation in the second year also 240000 depreciation in third year also 240000 depreciation why why same because the units produced are same now that's why so annual depreciation in this you know in this set 1 to 3 will be 240000 is that clear now the same thing you have to repeat for the remaining two sets of years 4 to 7 and 8 to 10 so let's just calculate the next set 4 to 7 so you see same thing 18 lakhs divided by 1 lakh 50 thousand depreciable amount divided by useful life you will get the same depreciation per unit it will not change 12 only multiply 12 with the production happened in that year actual production how much 15 thousand units so into 15 thousand so that's equal to 1 lakh 80 thousand right so 1 lakh 80 thousand would be the depreciation in the fourth year also in the fifth sixth and seventh easy after that we have eight to ten here they are producing ten thousand units per year so the rate will be same only depreciation per unit is how much 18 lakh divided by 1 lakh 50 that's 12 only okay that won't change so 12 into what 12 into ten thousand that's equal to 1 lakh 20 you all know right 1 lakh 20 thousand 1 lakh 20 thousand is the depreciation of 8th 9th and 10th year okay i mean each each okay 1 lakh 20 thousand for the 8th year and for the 9th year also separately 1 lakh 20 thousand and 10th year also 1 lakh 20 thousand separately is that clear so this is how you have to calculate it's really simple and straightforward the same sort of formula we have seen in the machine hour method as well it's just that in machine hour methods we had useful life in hours and then actual hours right here it's just replaced by the units isn't it yes so that so that's all for this video i hope you have understood this there is nothing over here to understand it's just that we take the depreciable amount divide that by useful life in units we get what is the depreciation per unit produced by that particular machine okay once you get that yeah by this operation by this dividing once you get that just multiply with the actual unit produced in that accounting period in that year or in that quarter okay for how much you're calculating the depreciation 
you will get the depreciation for that is that clear so that's how it is it's really simple and straightforward okay so that's all for this video see you in the next video bye